trouble looms after Buhari made shocking statement about the National Assembly leadership. Say shocking things he said that God Nigerians talking. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Ahmed Lawa, the Senate President of Nigeria, recently made a statement regarding the leadership of the Senate and House of Representatives. According to Lawan, the opposition parties will not have any say in determining the leadership of these two critical bodies. Lawan addressed the State House correspondent in Abuja and emphasized that the All Progressive Congress APC and other leaders would be responsible for choosing the Senate's president and speaker of the House of Representatives. In the press conference, Lawa dismissed concerns about a reported division within the APC, stating that he believed the party would remain united. He emphasized the importance of a National Assembly that works with the executive to achieve results. He strikes the need for a be partisan chamber that is productive, stable, and calm, which it believes will result in better outcomes than a contentious chamber. Lawa also mentioned that for the opposition to ensure that the APC get most of its constitutional amendments passed, they will have to work with the APC majority. He further added that a National Assembly that works with the executive will will produce greater results than those that are antagonistic, he said. I beg your pardon. In his view, a bipartisan chamber is more productive, stable and calm, and gives the kind of outcome that will never be achieved in a, a rancorous chamber. Lawar refused to discuss his involvement in the Senate presidency race and avoided the question of whether he was running for Senate president or not. He concluded by saying that this, the, the president, Buhari, was fishing strong, finishing strong and that he would leave the country more secure than he met it in 2015. Lawa believes that the APC would produce the leadership of the National Assembly and the opposition parties will work with the APC to ensure stability, productivity, and calmness in the chamber. As a Senate president, Lawa's statement holds great weight and will have significant implications for Nigeria's political landscape. Lawa focuses on a bipartisan chamber that collaborate with the executive, highlights the need for unity and productivity in Nigeria's National Assembly. So guys, what's your take on this? In another develop, uh, developing story, the hearing of the petitions contesting the Independent National Electoral Commission's INEC signature of Bola Tinubu, the All Progressive Congress, APC, presidential candidate as a winner will take place on Monday, according to the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal. Ahmed, the APC National Legal Advisor, indicated that the legal struggle by candidates contesting the result of the 2023 presidential election would begin on Monday 8th. That is May 8th. Ahmed claims that the APC legal team is prepared to defend the party's mandates. We have been briefed about the hearing scheduled for next week. He stated, But who told you that the tribunal's hearing on the election petitions had to be completed before May 29? He asked. Are you suggesting that the government should be left in a void and the president elect not sworn in? if they are not resolved before President Muhammad Wad leaves office, when asked how long it would take to decide on the petitions, he responded, it is not necessary. The presidential election tribunal has fixed Monday 
May 8. As for the hearing of the petitions challenging the, the victory of the president-elect Bola Tinubu, a top official of the election petitions tribunal said, while speaking on the condition of anonymity, because he was not authorized to release the information. Tayo Oyetobi, the son, a member of Tunubu's legal team, claimed that the hearing was supposed to, to start the following week. Yes, the hearing is on Monday, but it is only for pre-hearing session, he responded. Before the main hearing begins, the hearing is to determine if there are any applications. The hearing for the substantive matters will be scheduled. Meanwhile, he responds to worries that if Bola Ahmed Tunubu is being sworn in, the Nigerian judiciary might be compromised because Nigerians are saying that uh, the president has so much you know, power that he can control Nigerian uh, judiciary system. So this is their fear that the, the, the hearing should you know, a kind of uh, come uh, faster so that before May 29th, by then, the court have already determined who wins the election and uh, who lost the election. I'm talking about the presidential election. Okay. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming out.